Sir, last month we told you not to poke the bear. Well, you did, and you all sold, but now... I don't know. But if you are now sitting on stables, know that you can get 27.8% APR in the Hydration Dex Omni Pool. Tough dump on the polka dot treasury though, considering it's still mostly holding dot. Up to this point, that volatile asset has meant that projects looking to spend the treasury would sometimes have to request more dot to cover their bills in a top up. But with now over $9 million in stable coins accumulated, maybe that can stop? With the treasury value taking a massive hit in the last few days due to the market downturn, it is crucial for the future treasury to be as efficient as possible. Q stable coins. The Polkadot treasury has accumulated 9 million worth of USDT and USDC in the last few months. While people request DOT in their proposals, they are uncomfortable with the volatility this brings. Consequentially, requests for top-ups are common. In the last three months alone, proposals have asked the Polkadot treasury for an additional 4.8 million USD in top-ups. Given the current market condition, just the inter deal needs another 2 million USD after already being topped up by 3.5 million USD. So what is the solution? The best solution is to request stable coins as long as they are available. This will give proposers the exact funding they are asking for. If stable coins are depleted, the Polkadot DAO can always vote to increase accumulation. The other solution is to request DOT with a buffer and return any access to the treasury. A limit to the downside should always come with a limit to the upside as well. Back to you, Jay. Personally, I hope we can increase the dollar cost averaging with hydration debt very soon. Chief contributor Jakob, by the way, leaked some footage of the meme coin launch pad being integrated maybe next week. Do we think meme coins will be the chief gambler's vice this cycle? Or do we have an NFT renaissance coming up? In the dwindling NFT landscape, some are calling for a revival. Quick TLDR of marketplaces in Polkadot. Luz has a clean UI, plugged into a star both on ZK and mainnet EVM. Kodadot is OG on Kusama and Asset Hubs, funded and building consistently. Remarker on Asset Hubs has struggled with funding and server infrastructure, but as a new entrant, building has been consistent and innovative. Unique Network's native marketplace works reliably, but has zero analytics and a mostly broken search. Tofu NFT is the star's mainstay. Being early mover and reliable is their main strategy. Rarible is a giant in crypto, supporting a star ZK. And hey, they support Moonbeam now. Aras is mostly a near ecosystem marketplace, but a star native is supported. Rare Sama went through an artist boom and bust. As the Moon Sama ecosystem is migrating to Beam, will Rare Sama follow? Art Zero is focused on A0, paying out to their NFT holders. Supporting a star was launched with a planned native collection, but no news of that of late. Moonbeams is the OG marketplace on Moonbeam. Dwindling volume isn't motivating much improvement in UX. Singular now only supporting EVM. They specialize in modular NFTs, arguably the most consistent and robust volume on DOT. On devoted marketplaces, Ayuna has big volume thanks to their game. Next up is Everloot with their devoted marketplace. Trading of souls soon. NFT for NFT bidding even across multiple trades. Setting buyout prices sees their innovation leading them on a similar path to Mythical's marketplace strategy. Mythical's devoted marketplace has absolutely ridiculous volume, but they are still getting set up on DOT, so we'll have to verify them later. Phew, back to you, Jay. Thank you, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for another big episode. I want to tell you a little bit more about Mandala. Have a great day, everybody.